Hello, today I want to show you how to put together the octagon box with the handle. This is from Simply Crafty SVGs. So this is the way the box opens, closes, the flaps come up, and then it opens up. So it's quite simple to put together. It was a little bit more of an engineering feat to get it exactly the way I wanted it. So those flaps go down and stay down. That was an early version. Um, but this next one when I put together, the flat flaps stay in place. You don't have to do anything. So here the, there's three pieces to it. Two are identical. So we have all these little panels that go on it too. So we want to first add all the panels. So I'm only going to show you one side. But you want to center it. So there's eight total of those little ones. You don't need to. It, what would be cute is also if you uh, um, embossed those. Also, no, this is three inches wide, so it's a really small box. But it can be enlarged up to, I think I figured out on an, with the maximum side, 11.5 inches. Uh, a little bit over six inches, so it can go quite large if you use your software to enlarge it. So here are the two pieces with all the panels and we're going to fold them on the scores. So the only thing I didn't fold was the handle piece and I'll do that towards the end after I get the bottom piece on. But we just want to make sure they're nice and folded on the scores. And we're going to attach these two pieces with these, tab these side tabs. So we're going to align that right hand side edge with the tab fold. And then just apply pressure. Just make sure it's as centered and on the top and bottom too. It'll make it go together easier on the second tab. So just add glue there and then just fold over the last piece. So nice. what's nice about um, these octagon shapes, you can do it flat. And then I, you can see I'm just getting the shape now. So what we're going to do is take that bottom panel and glue it inside. So the tabs are going to glue to the bottom. You can glue them inside if, if you're if you're used to doing that, then that by all means. And if you want to cut another panel out, a bottom panel, you could use that to hide the tabs if you do glue them like this and you don't like the tab showing. It's been my experience that most of the time that you give a gift box um, it's for the gift and I, hardly anybody really looks at the bottom, especially something that was intended to hold something. So I'm just applying glue to all these tabs. I want to make sure that they don't dry up before I fold them over. So I saw that one was drying a little bit. So I'm just going to fold them over inward and then I'm going to set it on the table. Then now I'm going to insert the octagon piece and making sure that each side aligns and usually what I do is go around and push in the sides just to make sure that the inside tab folds of those tabs align with the edge of that bottom piece that I just put in there. And then I did have a little glue leakage. I mean it will dry but I, I didn't want on my table so that could happen. That's the not pretty part. But that's that's pretty much it. We're going to close it. I'm going to show you how to close it. So we're going to take the handle pieces here, fold one way and then fold back. So you want a valley fold on this. So you fold down and then fold up. And then we're going to fold those little tabs in and then the flaps in and then fold those two in like that. And these little big flaps go around and they'll just stay in place to close the box. So here's a bigger piece, I the bigger box, I mean. Um, I did that 150%. So you can see you can get it quite large. But you can go as large as, I think, a little bit over 6 inches with the mat limitations. So I had fun making this box. It was a request and I hope you do too if you make it. Thank you so much for watching.